Rue Koi Online is stat based. And one thing a lot of people don't realize once they start playing is that if they don't train their stats, their base, their level is going to get far ahead. They, they won't know much. And so let me just tell you guys how you train. It'll be relatively simple. First, you're going to want to go to either merchant and buy yourself a training weapon. Now, if you're training, you don't mono bread. There's mono bread, hybrid, and tri bread. Go hybrid or tri. You'll have higher defense, and once you get to a PvP zone, once you move past zombies, once you're past level 60, you need two stats. You need a ranged stat and your melee, obviously. So once you have bought your weapon five, you're gonna to need to find a place where you can train viably. Now there's multiple types of training daggers, obviously all dealing different types of damage. So I'll show you two different zones where I can use the training dagger and I'll talk about the difference between me training in those two zones. So first, you know, this is me training in Minotaurs 1, the first floor to the Minos area. Now, here you see I'm taking damage, and you can also see that I'm using the weapon 9. I'm using my training weapon 9. If I were going to use my wand here, I would use my training wand 7 with my 25 debuff. The reason I train here is because other than the fact that I'm losing health, I can stand here a long time. The Minotaurs withstand my attacks longer than this next place, which is Gargoyle. Now I can train Gargoyle with a five dagger and you may ask, what's the difference? I'm not losing any health. And so I don't spend any money on training in Garg except for my mana. What do you folks think? Was this tutorial helpful? Do you know how to train now? Anyway, peace out, you guys. Thanks for watching my widget. Now, here's some extra information. There are training bonuses. The online training time that you can buy with diamonds, while yes, it seems pay to win, you can actually buy 50 diamonds in, in relatively good time. Uh, so, online training time plus having your stamina your stamina is green until you run out of the first two hours so at 24 hours of stamina you won't get a bonus anymore but with those two bonuses your tick rate is at its highest while power training now there's another kind of training called afk training and that's literally when you just find a spot and you find one mob and you and that mob are going back and forth. I'm not going to teach you how to AFK. I don't want to. It doesn't matter. If you're AFKing, you're not going to get any type of like growth. You're not AFKing to grow fast. What I truly recommend for most of you is that you find a Rukoi stat calculator. They work extremely easily and if you need one, all you have to do is join a guild or join a discord server because most have a stat calculator. It really helps you um, orient yourself around goals and achieving accolades. So most people are indeed giving themselves a goal for the day like, oh, I'm going to train um, three hours today, you know. So you guys should follow suit. If you want to get better at Rukoi, this tutorial... <laughs> It definitely, I told you how to train, but there's really no way to get better except to go in game and just learn. Thanks for watching my widget. Leave a like and subscribe, y'all, folks. Have a wonderful day.